Hi, this is Dr. Graves from CSUN Geography Department and geographyplanet.org. This is a video tutorial designed to help students download and manage data that they have found on the U.S. Census Bureau site. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm opening with a Google search screen and I'm using um, Google Chrome. So what I want you to do is type in um, census and there you have it. And, and what you're looking for is this page to explore census data. So go ahead and uh, click on that. This will change from year to year um, and I'm recording this in 2021 which is a little unfortunate because uh, in just another year uh, there will be another set of data. But what I'm going to show you today should be useful after the 2020 data finally gets uploaded uh, given that the census doesn't uh, completely overhaul their uh, data search interface once again. Here's what I would suggest. Click on advanced search. This is um, how people who know what they're doing uh, go about gathering this data. What we're going to do today is to download uh, the most robust data set that we can find for census tracts about ethnicity in the city of Los Angeles. So the first place that I uh, tend to start is on the geography filter. So click that, click tract from the list of selections. And then, uh, well, before we go there, note that there is the zip code tabulation area, which is also useful, but you should note that the U.S. Postal Service and the U.S. Census don't really cooperate much on this. And so this data is uh, a bit of challenge sometimes to use with confidence. As I scroll down, You'll notice that there is also five digit zip code, but that is not for the same type of data. It tends to be more business data. But for today, we're, we're doing tracks and tracks within uh, California. And then we're going to select Los Angeles County. And then we're going to select um, all census tracks within Los Angeles County. And so that puts that in our bin at the bottom, our search bin. Here's the things that we're searching for. Note uh, that if you click on within other geographies here in the search window, you can search within voting district, which might be very interesting if you're studying gerrymandering, or if you click county subdivision, you can find census tracts only within, um, say, the city of Compton, might even write a song about that, or Glendale, or the city of Los Angeles, which we could have done, but we'll go ahead and just get uh, all uh, census tracts within Los Angeles County and stick with that. The next step that I urge you to take is to narrow down the year that you want to uh, get the data from. Now, once again, um, you can get more recent data but the best available data tends to come at the five-year intervals and the 10-year intervals. At the five-year intervals, the American Community Survey does a, is a survey of data at the census tract level. The problem with the ACS is that the margins of error from the sampling at the tract level tends to be so large that if you are doing statistical analysis that it is hard to incorporate the biases or the errors that are in the statistics while you're doing additional statistics on them. So I would encourage you to uh, select 2010 and if you're in my class uh, go ahead and select data only from the decennial, the every 10 year census. Those are a far more complete accounting, uh, although there are some problems with that. But the data, I, for my, in my opinion, is reliable to the point that um, you're not compounding it during uh, your 
your analyses. So we have 2010 selected and the topics that we're going to select, well, take, take a look. Let's just quickly look at the surveys that are available from 2010. And so you get these ACS options and then you scroll down and then there's this uh, really nice de decennial redistricting data and the decennial summary file one and summary file two. Uh, these are the most important of the files um, that you were that you could download. Uh, we're going to select instead the topics and uh, select from the list race, race and ethnicity, uh, two different concepts uh, that are related, and we're going to select a zero zero for all available races. Uh, it is race and ethnicity because we will download data about uh, language status um, and uh, that's a discussion for another day though. And once we have those three things uh, selected we can go ahead and click search. This gives us a list of possible tables and maps and pages that we could download data from, but uh, because we are going to do our own perhaps mapping, uh, if you're in one of my geography courses, then we are not going to use their maps, but we are going to um, collect the data ourselves and uh, analyze it. Uh, for my purposes, and I think if you are wanting to get the uh, ethnic breakdown of specific neighborhoods uh, in a single table, this table, total population, is your best bet. The year is 2010, and it is table B0-1003. It's exactly what we want. So click on it. It will tell you that it is too large to display because we have are downloading data from the entire county of Los Angeles, and that's a, a large county. Uh, but it is also a good county to demonstrate this because you get to see some of the additional challenges of working with large data sets. So we're going to click Download Table. And uh, the option here that uh, we're going to use is uh, the CSV, which is comma separated values, which means that it will open in Microsoft Excel or other common spreadsheet programs without much fuss. So click download, and that didn't take long. Preparing the download files, I click download now. Depending on the browser that you're using, what happens next will change. I'm in Google Chrome, and so my download window will be in the lower left-hand corner. If you're using a Microsoft Search Engine or Firefox or Safari, it will appear in a different area, and I will have to trust you to know where your downloads go. So I'm clicking Download Now, and I'm saving it in the primary folder for the course that I'm using. It's going to be a zipped folder. Click Save, and there the download is appearing in the lower left hand corner. I'm going to click on it to open it, and I have some options here. If I go to my folder and find it, I can click on it and have it extract, or I can double click in it which is what I do, sort of the shortcut, and I go straight to the largest of the three files that come. Uh, these explain what's going on with the data, uh, and this is the data itself. You can see that it is compacted, it's compressed, um, down to 351 KBs from uh, about 10 times that size. So I'm going to double click, and Microsoft Excel opens it up, and there I have uh, data that I can now analyze in a, a variety of ways. Um, this, uh, an accompanying video to this will show you how 
to put this data that we've downloaded in a pivot table and then make it look like something that we can uh, analyze more quickly. And that's the end of this census download video.